Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Makoy once again. And today, we are going to do something new, my man. We're going to do a comparison video. So, we're going to compare a CPU cooler that is worth 1,500, so around 1,300 to 1,500 pesos with a high-end CPU cooler na nag-range around 4,700 to 5,000 pesos. So, ang mga brand na titingnan natin ngayon ay galing sa Deep Cool, which is Gamax GTE V2 White. And we're going to compare it with Be Quiet's Dark Rock Pro 4 na naka-install ngayon sa unit natin. Ang CPU natin for today is Ryzen 5 2600 and we're going to use IDA 64. So without further ado, let's go. Quick specs natin, ang case natin ngayon ay Rock Galura. So galing sa Rock, easy PC kung gusto nyo bumili. Ang ating uh, CPU cooler is Dark Rock Pro 4 na galing sa Be Quiet. Ang ating GPU ay RX 5700 XT galing sa Power Color. That is Red Devil. Ang ating mga fans ngayon, meron tayong sham na fans all in all. Tatlo sa taas, tatlo sa harap. At ginagamit din natin ang 200mm fans ng Rock Galura na libre at isang exhaust fan na libre rin ng Rock. So, uh, yep, that's our quick specs for today. Alright, so today, my man, we're going to use two soft first. First off is the CPU IDHW monitor. Ito yung gagamitin natin para ma-check natin yung temperature habang tinitest natin ang processor to 100%. And then, gagamit tayo ng IDA64 para i-push yung performance ng processor natin to 100%. And titingnan natin kung gaano napalamig ng Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 ang processor natin na Ryzen 5 2600. Focus tayo sa... Uh, processor natin and yep let's do this moment in three two one start okay so there you go see that we are already pushing the cpu usage to 100 percent and we can also see that here sa hw monitor natin ano kita niyo ryzen 5 2600 all the cores yan so yung voltage natin nasa around 80, uh, 80.99 watts. Uh, yung utilization natin is 100% maximum. So ayan na. Ito na yung 100% maximum natin. And ang value natin, so ang moving value natin is 100%. So hindi yan bababa. As in constant yan kasi trinigger natin sa IDA64 to push it to 100%. Now, there you go. Ayan, tataas pa yan. So, our value, moving value is around 58 degrees. And minimum natin is around 44. And maximum temperature is 58. So, iwan muna natin to ng 30 minutes, ma men. And then, tsaka natin babalikan na makita natin kung gano'n ka ganda ang performance ng isang 5,000 pesos na CPU cooler na galing sa Be Quiet, Darkcraft Pro 4. Alright, so welcome back. <laughs> Alright, so after 40 minutes, ano, so sabi ko 30 minutes lang, pero nakapag 40 minutes tayo. You, you know, good measure, good measure, my man. Alright, so today, yes, our our Dark Rock Pro 4 from Be Quiet was able to handle 100% uh, CPU usage. In terms of performance, was able to bring down the temperature or maintain the temperature at 60, 63 degrees Celsius at uh, 41 for 41 minutes na naka 100% utilized ang ating processor na Ryzen 5 2600. I just want to let you know guys that this is a really good this is a really good temperature mamay. Kasi kapag Ryzen stock cooler ng Ryzen 5 2600, hindi natin makukuha yung ganitong temperature sa 100% utilization ng performance. So, oras na ngayon para ilipat natin or palitan natin ang ating CPU cooler from Dark Rock Pro 4 to Deep Cool Gamax GTE V2 na puti. So, let's do this moment. Okay, so para fair, hindi tayo gagamit ng ginagamit nating thermal paste na uh, Noctua. Gamit tayo ng thermal paste na galing mismo sa Deep Cool. Thank you. 
there you go guys napalitan na natin ng CPU cooler from a uh, Big White Dark Rock Pro 4 to Deep Cool Gamax GTE V2 so mapapansin nyo ayan medyo mas manipis siya no? so we will see uh, the performance of Gamax GTE V2 kapag tinagil na natin to 100% ang processor mismo without overclapping and maintaining the 3.6 to 3.7 GHz na speed ng processor so uh, yep Let's go. So, same routine. Iiwan natin siya ng 40 minutes this time. Kasi, iniwan natin ang Dark Rock Pro 4 kanina ng 40 minutes. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Start! Okay. So, we're starting at 43 degrees Celsius. So, I'm already seeing a performance na medyo mataas yung temperature kasi... 59 na siya ng 1 minute. Ano yung amoy? Ano yung nangangamoy? <laughs> Kinubahan ako. <laughs> Ayan na. Nag 60 degrees na siya agad. Wala pang 2 minutes. Kanina nag stable sa 60 degrees Celsius yung temperature natin nung ginagamit natin yung Dark Tank Pro 4. So around 60 degrees Celsius siya within few minutes. Around 5 minutes. Dito, 61 na siya. 2 minutes pa lang tayo. So, ayan. Alright, so we're going to check this one too. Ay, the 64's temperature. So, 55 siya. So, iwan muna natin siya, guys. Ano? At, uh, check muna natin yung mga ginagawa natin dun. <laughs> nililinis ako. Iniwan ko lang yung nililinis ko kasi nagre-record tayo ng video. <laughs> so, ayan. Babalik ako mamaya-maya, mamen. See you later, guys. Okay, so after 40 minutes, we're back, ma men. So 68 degrees Celsius ang maximum temperature natin. Bumababa na siya, but uh, we we ran at 68 degrees Celsius. With those findings, let's wrap it up. Okay, so bago tayo mag-wrap up for today, for our own fans, ma men, meron tayong anim na nilagay sa PC case na to. And those are 120mm fans na galing sa Deep Cool. Tawag dito is RF120. Ang fan configuration natin sa PC case na to ay tat apat na exhaust, tatlo sa taas, isa sa likod, at tatlong intake. Tinama natin ang 200mm fans na nakalagay sa harap na libre. Then, pinatungan natin ng tatlong 120mm fans. So, as much as possible, in terms of airflow, ma men, gusto kong i-treat as either tatlong fans lang ang meron as an intake or dalawang fans na 200mm. Reason behind is merong hindrance on each fan types. In terms of push configuration, which is the 200mm fans, meron nakaharang na tatlong 120mm. So, in terms of pull configuration, meron tatlong 120mm fans pero meron nakaharang sa harap na 200mm fans. So, as much as possible, I just want to treat it as 3 120mm or 2 200mm fans. Ayoko sabihin na yung limang fans na yun is fully utilized. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not how it works, mo men. Kung yung setup ng fans is 200mm is nakaharangan ng 120mm na fans. So, either or. Okay. Alright, so the main question is which one would you choose? 1,500 pesos na air cooler or the 4,700 to 5,000 pesos na air cooler. Okay, so if you're going to notice with the performance na binigay ng dalawang air coolers, mo men, kung mapapansin nyo, ang 1.3 din hindi masyado nagkakalayo sa performance ng isang 5,000 pesos na air cooler. Now, given with the temperature of this room, wala tayong aircon. Just wanna let you know guys that hindi, wala tayong aircon sa room na to. As in, room temperature lang. Ang nagpapalamig lang sa kwarto na to ay ito. Yan. <laughs> yung electric pa natin. So, Technically, hindi siya malamig. Hindi ito malamig ang kwartong to, guys. Hindi rin ganun kainit. So, room temperature, somewhere there. So, nakikita natin, 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. A 5 degrees Celsius difference with 100% usage ng processor is not bad. Kung yung bracket ng inyong temperature is within 60 to 70. Kasi it's either 60, 65, 65, 70, still good. Kung hindi naman kayo mag-overclock at room temperature lang naman yung location ng PC nyo, then 
I'd rather get the Deepcool Gamax GTE V2 na around 1,300 to 1,500 pesos na air cooler. Kasi kung makikita nyo, pinush natin to 100% ang usage ng ating processor pero naglaro lang siya sa around 68 degrees Celsius. Ideal to. So this is one thing that I've observed. May mga clients ako before na as in as in yung bahay nila is kulob wala masyadong ventilation kasi mainit talaga guys and hindi masyado napapasukan ng hangin so tendency kapag stock cooler yung ginamit mo tendency is the temperature of your processor will be high buying a separate heatsink or air cooler will definitely help cool your processor alright so next one 5,000 why would someone get a 5,000 pesos worth of air coolers. Why would someone get a high-end air cooler? So personally, isa sa mga main reason kung bakit ko binili ang Dark Rock Pro 4 from Be Quiet is galing tayo sa custom look. And I need an air cooler that would match the performance of my custom look. And isa rin sa mga nag-trigger sa akin is because of the looks. Kasi wala, maganda yung itsura niya. And when I put it in a PC case na malaki, sin parang walang bakante sa loob ng PC case natin mamin. Kaya isa sa mga main reason kung bakit ko yung pinuha yung dual tower ng Dark Rock Pro 4. Pero kung kayo yung mga tipo ng PC owners na gusto talaga yung i-overclock yung processor, and at the same time ayaw nyo rin bumili ng AIO and custom loop, then Dark Rock Pro 4 can be a really really good air cooler, lalo na kapag ganun yung klase ng needs na meron kayo. Alright, so there you go guys. I hope na nabigyan ko kayo ng idea and either the 1,300 um, pesos air cooler or the 5,000 pesos na air cooler. If you enjoyed our comparison video for today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends because do, by doing so, that will help the channel a lot, mamin. As in, makakatulong yun. 100% <laughs> kasi marami pa tayong marami tayong project na gagawin kasi marami pa akong naiisip may mga kung ano-ano pa dito na pwede natin ma-explore and mabigyan ko kayo ng idea kung paano gamitin or which is which so uh, yep I'm gonna see you again on my next project or on our next video mamin peace